Hey captains, this is Karendar. Now some people argue that having frame rates above 60 frames a second are undetectable by most, and that higher frame rates just work your hardware more and waste power consumption. Now to me, games just feel more fluid at higher frame rates. And these days, many of us have gaming monitors with refresh rates capable of 144 Hz or even beyond. And it's always nice to be able to use our hardware to the fullest. World of Warships has set a default of 75 frames per second, but that is actually changeable. It takes a little looking to find the config file, and the directory that it was found in previously has been moved a little while back. So to find the config file we need, I'll be assuming that Warships has been installed to the default directory, and obviously if you've chosen a different location, then of course adjust the directions accordingly. Start out by opening the file explorer, select your C drive, and under Games folder, find the World of Warships North America, or EU, depending on the, on the area that you're in. Then find the, the bin folder, and under that are often more than one folder, and they're both numbered. Look at the dates. For me, the lower one is usually the newest file, and that's the one we want. So selecting that folder, and then inside of that, the res folder. The file we're looking for is called engine underscore config dot xml and either double clicking the file or right clicking to open the drop menu and then choosing the view option will allow us the read only access to see what the file contents are. A few lines down we see the value for max frame rate. The default is set to 75 and if we want to change this we need to edit that value. So we close the read files and now before editing, it's always best to make a backup copy of any file in case we inadvertently make a mistake and then end up saving that mistake. Things like adding a space where you shouldn't. This can avoid having to run the game file checker or to have to reinstall the whole program. And to make a backup is pretty simple. Right click on the engine underscore config file, select copy, and then in an open space below the files here, just right click and choose the paste option and you'll see a new copy is created of that file. Now to edit the engine config file, simply right click on it and choose the edit option. Depending on your system, you might need to choose a program. So open with notepad and that works fine usually. With the file now open, we can select that 75 value, delete those numbers, and then enter a new value to match the frequency of your monitor. So whatever it happens to be, 90, 100, 120, 144, whatever yours is rated for. Once you've changed the number, click the top left file and the save option that drops down there and you're ready to restart the game. And the game must be restarted for this new setting to take effect. You should really close the game down even when you're, when you're uh, editing this. Once you've saved your edit, it's really easy to verify your work. Just double click on the engine config file and it'll pop back up and you should see your new value, 120, 144, whatever that is uh, in there. Go back to the game, start the game up, enter a battle, you should see your new higher frames per second limit. If for some reason the game doesn't start up, it's very easy to go back, delete the engine config file, and then rename the engine config copy file back to engine config.xml and your defaults will be restored. One last thing to note, this change must be made after every game update as the config file gets overwritten by the new version. A bit of a pain, but after you've done this a couple of times, it's actually a pretty quick change. So, Well, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for your time and watching. Please like and subscribe. And until the next, good hunting.